Hi, I, am, I would like to show you a different uh, exercises I have done with uh, Acting Script. Uh, the first one I'm going to show you is this little me memory game in which the students have to match uh, a picture with a profession with the um, name of the profession itself. So once the student uh, matches two of them, I think I saw a nurse here, a nurse the picture, well, the, the file disappear until the whole uh, screen is clean. This is generated randomly, so the students never, never have the same exact exercise. Uh, obviously, all the pictures and the names can be replaced for another ones, and you will have hundreds of different exercises. At the end of the exercise, the students is reward with uh, points in in relationship with the number of strokes and the time they spend uh, doing it. Also for my own lectures, not all of them are games, I also use this kind of applications for for example teaching the time. In this one for example you can see a clock that is working in, in with the real time now and it, the time is displayed here uh, you can change the time so you can show the students how the time is set in in all the situations in the Spanish and you know you can also listen someone saying the time if you click here Sorry. in this button the problem is with Camtasia the sound uh, that is only recording is through my speaker so my, my microphones are not through the speaker so uh, well you will miss that bit but uh, it works I tell you um, the other other exercises I have done, this one with a little of uh, animation, is this for example classical hangman which all the words here, all the all the categories are linked to um, to an XML file which all the database and list of words so for example if I pick uh, greetings or professions uh, one of the words is randomly uh, selected and the students have to uh, click on the words, I mean, you know how it works to try to avoid this person going to this stigma going to the certain death I, you can browse through all the words from the same category or go back to the original uh, list and select another category another thing for work with another game I've developed is this uh, do you want to be a millionaire It's a copy of the ITV game in which this similar wor work similar like the hangman, you can select a, a subject, for example, this one is to work with the present tense, this is with the past, or this is for work with the first four units we have been doing. The application has sound, exactly as the game. Um, you have these wildcards here that are working perfectly. Uh, and if you, um, when you start, you have a question here with four possibilities. For example, this one is how do you say good night in English? Everybody knows that good night in English is uh, sorry. How do you say buenas noches in English? And this is just uh, good evening or good night. So is this question B? And you can see here there is a bar that can show you the progression. If you have a problem with a particular question, you can ask a friend, phone, or use the 50-50. All the words, uh, so all the questions are randomly generated. So well, uh, you can again have uh, different uh, using the same application, different uh, exercises. And the last I'm going to show you is this um, application that works with the APIs from YouTube, and uh, it's like well, it's to work in conjunction with the PlayStation 2 game. I bought in Spain these two copies of Single Star. A pop and sing a star Latino. Um, if you select, for example, the Latino, it will take you to another menu in which you have the 30 different songs that you can play with. Uh, all of them will have a link and provide you information about the band or the group or the singer. And if you select any of them, it will take you to another place in which the student can watch the video or listen to the song and uh, read at the same time the letter if they want to the, the lyrics if they want to sing along you can randomly select any song from the list or click in this button to make this uh, random thing automatic once the song finish you can always go back to the 
to the menu or to the menu of the songs. Um, this works with YouTube, so this window actually what it does is simply play the the um, Chromeless player from YouTube and, and takes all the information from there through internet. As you can see, I've been developing different uh, kind of exercises and trying to always uh, uh, use and apply them in my teaching so my students can have fun and see different uh, kind of or use the language for different purposes while they're having fun they are learning. Uh, thank you very much for listening or watching this and I hope I will hear from you soon. Bye now.